in the beginning, God created. He just spoke the world into existence. Just started saying the words. And then we were. I think to understand the beginning, sometimes we need to start at the end. And in Revelation 4, it gives us this amazing picture of heaven. John tells us that these four living creatures, each of them having six wings full of eyes around them, never cease to say, holy, holy, holy is the Lord who was and is. And these living creatures give him glory and honor and thanks to him who sits on the throne. These 24 elders, these positions of leaders, these, these leadership positions, these posture of pieces of, of, of prosperity and of posture and perspective, all these leaders are there. They're gathered around this throne and they are taking their crowns, throwing them down, saying them to the Lord, worthy are you, O Lord and our God, to receive glory and honor and power for you created all things and because your will they exist and your glory they were created see in the beginning he spoke the word and spoke this world into existence to get a better understanding of why he even made us sometimes we should start at the end I don't know if you know this whether you know Jesus or you don't but you were created for his glory. You were created to give him glory. And you're going to have to make a decision. Some of you are going to have to make a decision even now to take your crown and cast it down and to seek his glory. Don't come to History Maker to see a band. I mean, there's going to be great worship and some great musicians operating in the gifts that God has given them. Don't come to History Maker to hear a speaker, although there's going to be some great speakers that are going to teach us this word. Come to History Maker because you were made for His glory. You were made to chase His glory, to house His glory, to see His glory. Don't miss it. Don't miss a chance to see the glory of God in your life. You were created for that very purpose. My name is Eric Samuel Tim. I can't wait to be with you at History Maker this year. There's darkness that fills this world. But there's also light that consumes the darkness. That light brought before the dark is like a weapon brought to battle. Art is our weapon, a medium of light that is used to outshine the darkness, used to inspire ones that come after, battling to change unbelief in the light itself never reeking of religion, but covered in the beautiful stench of truth, hope, and love. Our work is not done. A race ran, but not completed. What then are we to do? His greatest work is us. Our greatest work is becoming Him. Therefore, there is nothing truly more artistic than to love people.